your happiness is an inside job. It's all up in here. It's an inside job. You know, happiness is something that is internally driven. Happiness is a byproduct of action and going out in life and making things happen and just deciding to be happy. That is happiness. Happiness comes from being where you want to be, regardless of the circumstances that will dictate you arriving at that destination. Because I'm going to tell you, in it was a moment when I wrote my first book. Because when you're just pushing, growing, doing this stuff, and you reach that moment where it's done, you've gone through all of this stuff, and it's like, all right, it's done. It's done. I, I had the little green book, the little funky green cover book. I was sitting in my chair and I was holding it against my stomach and I was just going, wee, I wrote the book like a little freaking kid. I was freaking happy. And that level of happiness and that joy came because there was so many things that was in front of it. But so many people are trying to leap. I'm here and I want to be happy and just leap over all of that stuff, leap over the process, leap over the, the, the rough, the ruggedness, the, those hard things that you have to do to make your business successful. They want to really just get past that, but your business doesn't need to care. Shouldn't even be worried about it. You should be thinking about how can I reach, go from point A to point B. And once I'm at point B point to see the progression, that's what you should be looking at. But too many people are looking at, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm in search of my, I just want my happy back. Like happy just got up and said, see, ya. I'm out of here. You know, I don't like this location anymore. The zip code sucks. I'm out of here. Typically, if you're not happy, it's because you haven't made certain decisions. And typically you will not want to be accountable to certain decisions that you may have met, had because when you make mistakes and you do things wrong, it creates a period of, oh, hell, what did I do? But when you um, go out in life and be accountable and decide to, you know, reach those goals of yours to actually go forward in life, to be that person you want to be, then the happiness is a natural byproduct of that decision making process. Now for the businesses, you got to start treating your business as a tool, as a project, a task. It, it has no emotions. It's the static thing that will either be bigger or smaller than you want it to be based on your actions. You got to kind of remove the emotion from it. You guys like, okay, what's good for the business. Now, another reason that your business should not care if you're happy is that you created a life plan. You went ahead and said, look, this is what I'm gonna do for my life. I'll give you an example. One of my big things is freedom. And if a business opportunity is something that comes up and it, it's like, hey, that's gonna impede on the freedom, I'm not gonna do it. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's like it goes against the personal code, the personal philosophy. But if you don't have a personal code, a personal philosophy, there's nothing for it to go against. But then you, you know, one day you're just kind of sitting down and you're like, I'm not happy. And you're just thinking about it. You're ruminating in it. Just not because you haven't done the work to be happy. That's the problem. You have to do the work to be happy. You have to really think about some stuff. So if you're not happy with your business, ask yourself this question. Should you even be in this business? Because many people, and this is one of the reasons I hate this question. What should I do to make five, ten thousand dollars $10,000? You know, get money hustler type stuff. With little regard to does this stuff make you happy in terms of it's something you want to do. You're very interested because I know that pay-per-click advertising, um, niche websites, there's a lot of things on the web that make incredible amounts of money, but this is the rub for me. I'm not interested in them. I don't want to do it. Just, you know, it's just like, Hey, you got money. You should invest in these businesses. This is how someone 
who has philosophical views against certain things happen to people around the world and they invest in this business and then later on they find out that this business that they invested in that's making them money is actually doing all these horrible things that they hate because they simply didn't ask the right questions you know so you got to be really really careful about that so um there's certain things i'm just not going to be involved in and also talking about happiness uh something happened in hustler university be sure to join hustler university it's a free group a lot of cool stuff's going on uh someone who used to be in the tribe who actually did something extremely offensive to me extremely offensive i'm actually going to talk about it um if you know there's a mug shot of me on the web and there's many many freaking stories about he was a drug dealer rapist all this heinous stuff now let me tell you how i got freaking arrested we used to own the store in downtown Stone Mountain. Moved out the store two years after moving out. Two years. I'm heading home one night and I get pulled over because I'm racially profiled. I wasn't speeding. The tag was straight. They just pulled me the fuck over. And guess what? I had a failure to appear warrant for something I didn't know about. Essentially, long story short, the little bitch ass code enforcement officer who was black, who was a jealous little black bitch went to an empty storefront and left a ticket for not renewing the business license. Now I'm in jail for two fucking days over this two days. I do all this stuff to stay out of jail. And this is what I go to jail for. So I go out and I don't even know why I'm in jail. Cause no one can tell me then, um, had the money to bond out on me. It was 1250. Had that on me. Oh, couldn't pay them. Had to pay fucking stone mountain. My business partner, she went, found an officer, tried to pay him. He wouldn't take the money. Couldn't get out of jail until Monday. Then six weeks later, go to fucking court. And then, you know, the judge is like, so, Mr. Cameron, why are you here? I was like, you you tell me. I have no clue and no one's telling me. Well, it seems like, you know, you didn't um, renew your business license. I said, well, you know, there's a reason. We moved. I mean, my partner grabbed me because I was getting ready to yell because it was just a complete fucking kangaroo court. And... 30 seconds after he heard that, he dismissed it, got the money back, and I seriously thought about suing these fuckers. But that's how I got my mug shot here on the web. And some racist bastards here on YouTube, you know who you are, are playing little stuff. People are sitting around doing hangouts and like, oh, he's got a mug shot. And some of the people who are doing this stuff are, are actually criminals, in my opinion. And one of these people actually did this stuff, and he took my mugshot and put it on this channel with another little stupid ass bitch and this person thinks that he's going to be part of anything that i fucking do going forward in life do straight up fuck you fuck you fuck the merry little band of psychophants and emotionally masturb masturbatory little punks you hang out with because i want nothing to do with none of you if let's put it this way if you were on fire I wouldn't piss on you. If you were, I wouldn't even spit on you. So leave me alone. Leave Hustle University alone. Leave all of this stuff alone and go on with your life. Because this is one of the things I have. And this, this goes with the personal code of being happy and the personal philosophy. When you do certain things to me, there is no coming back into my good graces. None. It's, it's a wrap. Because one of the things is we live in a very namby-pamby society where people think they can continually do heinous things to people and everyone should just be cool with it. And, you know, there was this thing went on for months and months and months. And the reason I'm talking about it now is like I will explain this in my good time on my terms. And I thought today was a good day because for some reason, these punks, these idiots, these stupid little whores keep popping up like wanting to be my friend, trying to friend me on Facebook, trying to, to get in hustling. No, go the fuck away. I have no use for you. You made a decision, a really bad decision to hang out with someone who was clearly deranged and stupid. And for some reason, you expect me to forget that? Fuck you. So that is another reason. And that's another thing that makes me happy because this business gives me the ability to say that because I'm telling you, and there are folks who were here who know what happens, who saw it. It was horrible. It was terrible. And then some people think, well, you know, it's just cool. It's not cool with me. So to you, you know, your name because you're watching the videos. I can tell don't fuck with me. Leave me the fuck alone. Go on with your life. You made a decision. And hey, I hope you have fun living with it. So 
that is one of the things that happens with building the business and you know this thing with my freedom and philosophy i do know that if i cleaned up the language and was hey you know this is glendon and i never uttered a profane word again oh yeah there'd be more people but they would be inappropriate people for the g verse because part of the things that make me happy going back to what we were talking about i came up with the personal philosophy i came up with the personal charter things i will deal with things i will not deal with and it makes life much easier and richer to deal with it just really does and it gives me the clarity to make better decisions for myself personally and for the business and that's how i roll that's how this thing works because my happiness actually comes in front of the business i do things if there's something that I know it's going to really, you know, and this isn't about saying not doing something I want to do. You have a business, you're going to have to do some things you don't want to do. But what I'm saying is I will purposely pick what I will work with, what I will not work with, who I will work with, because there was another opportunity uh, when the storage auction thing was hot. I could have worked with some people. I personally didn't agree with the guy's uh, ed ethics. I, I thought he was another a different kind of criminal uh, i've know the type i know that person i've dealt with that person i used to work with a guy who had that type of behavior and i was like no i'm not working with you and everyone's like hey you should network um another one he actually left a nasty little review on my book on amazon because i wouldn't work with him after he said all kind of heinous things i'm oh this gets good this gets good this dude is saying all of this stuff about me this is a wonderful lesson He's saying stuff. He even sent me a nasty little uh, message through Gmail. Still got it. Then he wrote a book about storage auctions and his uh, ghostwriter actually reached out to me. And I told her, I said, look, Tina, you know, you probably don't know this, but I wouldn't piss on that motherfucker if he was on fire. He's done some heinous things to me and just, just tell him to leave me the fuck alone. And I'm amazed at how many people do shit then later on when like um you know uh, it wasn't that bad you can't dictate to a person the offensive thing that you did to them how bad or bad it was that's incumbent upon the person and that's once again another sign of the arrogance and the lack of emotion and the lack of perspective and the lack of any type of personal integrity when folks who do this stuff because i watched them all fall and i just like predicted this but hopefully this could be a lesson for you that when you build your business you build freedom and options for yourself you just don't have to deal with certain things you don't have to deal with certain people so when you put that personal charter that personal code all that stuff together then everything else just lines up if an opportunity comes your way and it doesn't fit within that code of conduct that you set for yourself it's a no it's an instant no. It's like, no, that's not going to work. And then you move on and your life is just much, that's just much more clarity, just much more clarity. So with that, just wanted to say your business shouldn't have to make you happy. You should make yourself happy. And if you like the content of this channel, I've got something for you. And with that, I'll see you in the good side. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron. I'm just letting you know, I am doing something new. Hustley University YouTube channel is now a viewer supported deal essentially nine out of ten people benefit from the information of this channel that's a wonderful thing support this channel like a boss great advice for you to grow to build donate today you can donate a dollar five bucks up to five hundred dollars just hit that little eye or tap that to donate and you'll be golden once again this is something new that i'm doing I'm going to work up, see how it works out from now to the end of the year. And if it goes well, I'll continue to do so. All right. This is Glendon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the good side.